Okay, so this is my culling video. From the second I put my um, SD card into the computer until I deliver the photos. So, as you can see, this is my SD card and all the photos are here. Immediately, I'm going to highlight them all and then I'm going to create a folder in my hard drive. And I have this folder already, Sarah and Adam downtown. And then I'm gonna have five folders inside of that folder. I'm gonna have the chosen RAWs, the all RAWs, final edits, five star, and sneaks. These photos from the hard drive, I'm instantly going to transfer them to all RAWs. So you can see that they're all in here now. Then, once I have that successfully transferred, I'm gonna go and open up Adobe Bridge. Then I'm gonna find that folder in my hard drive, and I'm gonna go to the all RAWs folder. Double click that to open it. And here are all my thumbnails. So I'm gonna go through each each photo and give it a rating to see what I'll do with it from there. So they're automatically all nothing. There are no ratings, zero stars, zero colors. So I'm going to go through and do either um, do one by one small like this, which can go a little bit faster, or you can press the space bar to make them full screen. So something to note that is when they are full screen, they're only going to be half loaded. So if you want to see if they're actually in focus, you have to zoom in and you can see up here that they're loading. And now it's fully loaded and we can tell that that one's actually not in focus. So you can press escape to go back to the thumbnails. Um, but the good thing about them not fully loading is that you can go through them very fast. You can go through them faster than Lightroom. Although they look like copy quality now. Okay, there you go. You can go through them pretty fast. So. Once I uh, like a photo and I want to edit it, I'm going to give it a one star rating. And if I see a photo and I'm like, oh, I love that photo so much, that's like totally blog worthy, then I'm going to give it a five star rating. So after I've rated all the photos, I'm going to come over to this left side panel and click one and click five. What that does is it'll only show me the photos that I've selected. My computer's having a little bit of a tough time thinking right now. So then once I have all of the one and five star photos chosen, I'm gonna go ahead and press on one photo and then press Command A to highlight them all. I'm gonna copy them to that folder that you saw earlier, which is the chosen ROS. So I'm gonna to go to that folder in my hard drive and chosen ROS. And then I'm, I already have them copied as you can see, but I would just press open and then that would copy them. Once they're all in that folder, I'm gonna open up Adobe Lightroom and then I'm going to import. I'm going to find that folder. And I'm going to do it only the chosen rows. And then you press import. So then they're all imported. And I've already done this. And they're already all edited, as you can see. So once they're in here, I will do a different editing video for a different time. But when you come up here, you can do the same rating. The rating transfers over. So. Here's all my one stars, at least one star. You can see there's still some five stars in here. But if I only want to see those five stars to see those like wow photos, you can click five and it'll narrow it down to all the five photos. So as you can see, some of these are red, some of these are yellow. And if I click back to zero stars, some of them are gray. I have a rating system that I use and you can make up your own. But for me, red equals ready to go which means they're ready to be published, they're ready to be shared to the couple, they're ready to be posted online. The gray means that I have not yet edited them or I haven't finished editing them, I still have quite a lot to do. And the yellow means the editing is basically done, I just have to make some minor tweaks in Photoshop. So for instance, for this photo, I need to remove this ugly pole. So the yellow lets me know that it's almost ready to go. So if I wanna say, okay, how many photos do I just have to do in Photoshop? I can click the yellow and see, okay, there's only two photos. If I want to say, all right, well, how many do I have a lot to do still? I can press the gray, and I can see that I still have 39 photos to do a lot with. And if I say, okay, well, how many are already ready? Then I can see that I have 57 to go. So normally, I edit my very favorites. I'll click the five star, click red, and these 18 photos will be my sneak peeks that I'll share with my couple, my couple probably the same day or the same week. Then, once everything's ready to go, you know, you just... Come here and you say export. You can choose your export settings. And then I export them into that photo that says 
either final edits or uh, my sneak peeks. So you can see here, I sneak peeked them already. How I name them is um, I usually do a sequence right here and I will give them a name. Um, what I named these was Tamara Marie Photography. So she's a model, so she might differentiate between different photographers. Then I'll say Rooftop Downtown Austin. And this helps with SEO too, having this in your name. When Google crawls your website, they'll see what is this about. Start with the number one and it'll give one to 18. And you just wanna make sure all your settings are good and then you press export. So that's basically how I do it from the time I put the photos on my computer until I export them. Um, let me know if you have any questions. I went through this pretty fast and I will probably have some subsequent videos later on with a little bit more editing involved as well. All right, thanks for watching.